Hugh Waddell was born in Lisburn, County Down, Ireland, in about 1734. Shortly after emigrating to North Carolina, he was granted a lieutenant's commission by Governor Arthur Dobbs in 1754. He served under Colonel Innes in Western Maryland. While there, he was promoted to captain, Governor Dobbs having found him to be in every way qualified for such a command as he was young, active, and resolute. In early 1755, he was recalled to North Carolina and raised a company for service on the colony's western frontier. Waddell oversaw the construction of Fort Dobbs in 1756, during which year he also served as North Carolina's representative during a treaty with the Cherokee and Catawba Indians. Promoted to major, Waddell commanded three companies of North Carolina provincials during the 1758 Forbes campaign in Pennsylvania, where he was active in scouting towards the French-held Fort Duquesne. He was memorialized as having, quote, dressed and acted the Indian in all manner, adopting indigenous modes of dress and warfare from service with allies such as the Cherokee. Back in North Carolina in 1759, Waddell was now a colonel and again made his headquarters at Fort Dobbs. British relations with the Cherokee had deteriorated into conflict. When Fort Dobbs was attacked by a large Cherokee force on February 27, 1760, Waddell led the defense of the post. In 1761, he commanded the 450-man North Carolina Provincial Regiment, which marched to the Long Island of the Holston River in modern Kingsport, Tennessee, in support of Virginia's Cherokee War Expedition, and was a signatory on a new treaty of peace and friendship with Cherokee leaders. Following the war, Waddell served in the North Carolina legislature, He participated as protests erupted against the imposition of the Stamp Act in Brunswick Town in 1765 as a member of the Sons of Liberty. Waddell married Mary Haynes of the wealthy Haynes family, siring three children and making his home at a plantation near present-day Fayetteville. Through the marriage, he acquired a great deal of wealth in the form of both land and also enslaved people. When Governor Tryon organized a force to quell the Regulator insurrection in 1771, Waddell was charged with rallying the militia of the Western Counties, in which capacity he became the first North Carolinian to hold the rank of General. Finding men in the West proved extremely difficult, however, as the counties in Waddell's jurisdiction were the centers of Regulator activity. While Tryon had hoped Waddell could raise 750 men, he only succeeded in calling 250 under arms. On May 9th, a shipment of gunpowder for Waddell's force was intercepted and destroyed by locals at Pfeiffer's Hill near present-day Concord. After crossing the Yadkin River on a march east to meet the governor, Waddell's small command was surrounded by as many as 2,000 regulators. With no hope of winning a battle, he prudently withdrew to Salisbury and therefore missed the Battle of Alamance. General Hugh Waddell died on April 9, 1773, following a prolonged battle with an unknown illness, and he is buried at Castle Hayne.